Well, g'day guys, and welcome back to the Bat Cave. This episode is a little bit like the state of this Bat Cave at the moment. Shit everywhere, complete mess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got a bit of everything in this one, um, even a little bit of working on bikes, so uh, that'll be a nice change. Anyway, she's a long one, so grab a beer, sit back, and enjoy the show. First things first, let's go chuck a new exhaust on the 390. Whew. Oh, we've got a couple of special deliveries today. What do we got, Nat? We have got a new end cap. Oh, sorry. Cut that out, please. <laughs> <laughs> Never. We've got a new slip-on for my really, really loud KDM 390. Now that we've put the Kuba ECU on. <laughs> so you guys would have probably seen the ECU install video. The new header pipe is... Uh, a decat header pipe, so it's uh, yeah, a little bit loud. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the bike was already too loud. Now it's <laughs> now it's just gone one step above. <laughs> Crazy loud. It's crossed the line. Yeah. So um, I said, grab one of the pipe. This was actually the size pipe that we wanted to get originally, but um, yeah, a bit of an error. While ordering, we've ended up with a shorter one. Would you shut up, frog? If it's not birds, it's flaming frogs. Yeah, or cat. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is the same size that I've got on the T7, and um, we'll see how we go just leaving the baffle in the end there. Um, so yeah, it's just a little bit longer. Should make it a little quieter. Oh my gosh. I don't know how anyone can have the patience to put this flaming rubber seal on these brackets. It's a pain bother. in the bloody bum. I don't bother with them. They just get rubbed off anyway. Oh. I just wanted to show these guys the other special delivery that came today. Fucking mint shirt, mate. We got these for sale in the store. Gear.mvdbr.com um, But this one's actually from Sticker Mule. Can you believe? that this shirt cost this is a Ooh, custom that's nice yeah it's not a bad shirt mm. custom printed one-off t-shirt delivered from the usa to australia eleven dollars are you shitting me no that's including postage wow eleven bucks for a custom printed t-shirt they do like a uh you know a promotion sort of thing they want to show off how good their shirts are and they're pretty good yeah and they feel nice the material's nice and soft yeah so are the ones in our store but yeah i know but nice leaf print it looks real it looks yeah good. it's <laughs> a really good quality print yeah anyway cool another t-shirt you can never have too many tees <laughs> all right let's get this uh, exhaust all right let's get this exhaust on always pays to wear eye protection when the girls on the tools <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I've got me fourth and fifth beers ready to go. We're not mic'd up at the moment, so the audio is probably going to be shit. Everything's yellow in here, why? Ah, how's that? Mm. Oh, slips right in there. <laughs> Plug and play, baby. <laughs> it's quite loose. Yeah. Doing a bit of silicon for it. Oh, I think so. Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> they don't, there's really no tension in those, are <laughs> Yeah, it's going on a fair bit further than the other one. Yeah. What about these ones? Wow. <laughs> so good. Real good. Something's always got to fuck out on this shit. Yeah, <laughs> nothing ever goes right. I mean, I can like bend it further around. It'll make oh, it a yeah. little bit tighter. Yeah, okay. Right, we just have to use a bit of... <laughs> Freaking heck. A little bit of magic and a little bit of grinder to shorten those springs. Good, that's better. Yeah. It's still fucking loose as a goose, though. 
You're right. It's never been airtight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, I know. I can actually hear it going <laughs> under the water when it's only up to here. <laughs> yeah, plus when you drown it and then you <laughs> gas it, the down. water blows <laughs> out there like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Probably more comes out of there than out of here. Alright, let's go time. Let's see if it's made any difference. You probably might be able to tell on the video, but um, we will. Just look at Nut's expression and you'll be able to tell. Are we ready? Yep. Bottom hole. Sound much like a can of rocks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just a bigger can of rocks. <laughs> it's alright. It's a little bit quieter. You think so? I think so. Okay. It's still obnoxious, but <laughs> it's on the mild side of obnoxious. Okay. It'll have to do, unless you want to get a proper bloody exhaust or put that big fucking ball bag back in there. <laughs> Uh, today's first mission is to put some wood filler in that hole up there and then paint it with some ceiling light because it used to be a ceiling fan there but it's now gone. Where's your putty? Open it up. It's called walnut. What's it a, looks like Nutella. What's it smell like? It smells like a mixture of coconut oil and dirt. It smells good enough to eat. Mm. Don't lick it! Ah, doesn't taste good. No. And that's the official spec filler in this relationship. She, she's pretty good at it. Earl's timber mate wood filler. No shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> no shrinkage. Even in a cold pool. <laughs> so how much was it? I think it was like six ninety five or ten dollars, something to that effect. Yeah, about for ten bucks. Small, I think. Yeah, for a little small tub like that. So these are just knot holes that have fallen out, and the hornets like to get in there and make bloody nests, mud wasps or whatever the fuck they are. Not nanny mole, you bastards. One of the easiest, but probably also one of the most satisfying little jobs that we've done around the place so far is replacing these stupid little door clips like pretty much every single one of them in the whole entire house was like that broken on one side so yeah we're just going through and putting new ones on they only cost like a buck something each from Bunnings for each one so yeah easy job to do and just makes the doors shut nicer <laughs> they don't look as good because they're not exactly the same size as the other ones, but uh, that'll all get painted one day. YouTube's jammed. It's like Nat's remix of Vegas Romania. It's our new letter box. Mm. How does it work? Look, there's a number in there somewhere. Nat wasn't real happy with the old letter box, so we've got a new one, but thankfully it was only cheap. So we're gonna stick. It was the only number three that we liked that they had. That, that we, was reasonable. <laughs> that we half liked anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll stick that on there. Like Make that. Sure you get it crooked. Like that. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Oh, that is stylish. Apparently, number three is popular because all the good <laughs> threes are gone. Yeah. All right. Um, here's a little bit of time lapse of me. Moving some bricks in the backyard. Uh, we're getting rid of the garden bed out there. I know one of you guys wanted us to plant some veggies in it, but we've got other places we can plant our veggies. We just want to plant like a, a screening hedge 
up along that back fence so I'm going to move all the bricks to around beside the garden shed. We're going to go and start pulling down the carport out that's been tacked onto the front of the house. It's sort of a bit of an eyesore. Um, we'd rather just get rid of it and let the grass grow back out there. So we're going to look a bit better. Yep. So do a bit of a time lapse of that as well. Cool. Let's get out the front. <laughs> Right, it's 687.28 degrees, oh. but we're going to get out and do this letter box. We've just done the carport, most of it, but we're going to take the old one out first because we don't want to end up with two letter boxes. That'll confuse the pasty. Yeah, well, so hold up. do you want to try using the shovel first? Shoveling around it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. There's the carport, gone. Gone. Oh, that sounds like concrete. Oh, yeah. Where is the number one ingredient. That box is done. It's too hot in the sun. We're getting out of here. All right, guys. We've got one last mission for this afternoon. Lazy Sunday, are we? We're going to move, <laughs> <laughs> move this, remove some of this lattice. Because, as we've mentioned before, we've got the shrubs there for privacy. Um, should open up the backyard a bit. So we've gotten rid of the lattice and the poles. Now all we've got to do is figure out how to get these things out. They look like they're concreted in, so it could be a bit of a bitch. We've figured out the secret to removing the Excaliburs from the stones. We just spin them a bit. Give them a bit of a... Yeah, and wrecking the bricks all the way. Oh, that one's easy. You can pull that out with your hands, Ben. Yeah. It was coming out quite easily. <laughs> I was the one to pull up on this thing. I'll tell you what easily is. 
so it's making a bit of a mess of the bricks, but um, that's a sacrifice that we're willing to make. It's coming. It's coming. Am I, am I worthy of the throne? Yes, you are. Woo! Let's go, boy! That's the last one. Nice. Yay! Right. Let's pack up. So, another Saturday morning and we've just gotten back from Bunnings, the hardware store. And we've got a bunch of stuff to get done today. Let's have a look here, what goodies have we got? Oh well, Nat's, Nat's got herself a new toy. I bought a safe. She's got a safe for her $3 jewellery. <laughs> that I bought her. What? <laughs> no, she's got a safe there that we're going to have to install somewhere. Uh, we've got... We scored an awesome little lamp for the garage for guess. $15. Yeah, and because they didn't have the one that we wanted, it was 40 something dollars and you cut it down to 15 Yeah, the one I wanted was 15 bucks, but they couldn't find it even though it said it was in stock. So he's like, just pick another one, we'll charge you that. That was pretty good. Um, so we got a uh, mm, oh, spray bottle. Borax. I've, I've had enough of your Borax Poindexter. I don't know what that's for. Uh, we got some cable lube that people uh, recommended on our last video. So we got Inox, Lanox, Lanolin and shit to yeah, lube our <coughs> clutch cables and shit. We got some primer paint, some liquid nails for another job, some light bulbs. Oh, we'll do that first. That's easy. Ooh. And Electrical connectors, some command strips to hang shit up, some nails. Cause I'm got another. I've got another project on the go with uh, old recycled pallet boards. So that's cool. And another USB-C cable. All right. Oh, 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 oh. the most important <gasps> thing and probably the most expensive oh, yeah. too. We've got some babies. More little babies. So we've got 12 lily pitties and three more marayas. So we're going to be hedging up, baby. Hedging our bets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many dirt burp rarities does it take to change a light bulb? Two. What's the rest of the joke? <laughs> one to put the light bulb in and the other one to film him <laughs> getting electrocuted. LEDs super efficient and super long lasting for your peace of mind. All right, Dingus, put the bulb in. Is anybody still watching? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, great! Don't forget to get yourself some new shirts. Fucking mint. One needs a wash. <clears throat> We're not gonna film everything today. We might do some time lapses and shit, but basically, uh, we need to get rid of this dirt here. We're gonna spread some of it on the grass, clean stuff, fill in a couple of little low points, and then we're planting a lot of our little lily pillies and shit around the around the edge. So, yeah. It'll be uh, fun. Borrowed the wheelbarrow off mum, so we're all good. We're gonna, <laughs> could be interesting. We're not too sure what that concrete block there is for. A big pad, but we're gonna have a go at lifting it. Right, eh? we're getting rid of these concrete blocks first. We've already gotten rid of the biggest ones. Just this little fella to go in here. As is the usual case when you're doing jobs with Nat, <laughs> you start doing one thing and then we end up having to do other shit in the middle of it so the original thing doesn't get finished. 
The original thing is getting finished. So this is going to assist the original thing. So I'm giving you a minute. This is good content. <laughs> we want to put some of the dirt we've got at the back in this hollow here. Nat wants to move. Remove the gate for now. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Long suffering Josh. Oh boo hoo. On the tools. Tell your story walking, mister. What the actual heck? All manner of shit in there. Heaps of dog bones, I'm sure. Oh, that wasn't so bad. The concrete out the front's gonna be worse, I reckon. Come on, muscles, straight on the wheelbarrow. Whoa, you shattered that bastard. So <clears throat> when we were digging the back garden this morning, there was a little bit of excitement, wasn't there, Natalie? Yep. What happened? We saw a lady in the backyard of the house behind okay. us, and she was calling out to a lady who lives there. Her name's Margaret. And I heard Margaret yell out. And then I said, "Is everything?" I asked her if everything was all right, and she said, "Oh, I think Margaret's had a fall." So I'm just like, okay. So Margaret's 95. Yeah, Margaret. Or 94 years old and still living by herself, by yeah. the way. Yeah. So no one could get in because she locks the house up at the front, and um, a gentleman called in to see her and then ended up going because he could hear her as well to go and get some help and all that. So <clears throat> I jumped and scaled her fence, which is like six <laughs> foot, seven foot, nearly eight foot high. Um, she's got like. That's in, that's just for her cart, like her patio. There's like really high gates and fences, and then a pergola. So I've got the wheelie bin and jumped, jumped over the fence, and then like swung on the beam of her, <laughs> swung on the beam of her patio, and jumped down. And luckily she had the back door open, and here she is, the poor love, laying on the ground on her back because she couldn't, she just couldn't move, she couldn't get up. So. Well damn. Yeah. Been there for three hours. Yeah, about three hours, I think she said. Yeah. With her head jammed up against the wall. Or well, I wasn't jammed, but that's where she was. Like her head mm -hmm. was like up against um, her TV unit. So I propped it up with a pillow and um, got the ambos to come out and take it to the hospital. This is what we've all got to look forward to mm. in old days. It's bloody sad. Yeah. Anyway. She kept telling us that this was it. She was dying. Mm -hmm. She's dying a slow, a slow death. She said. Aren't we all? So, but at 95, you feel it a lot more. I'm sure. Yeah. Did you just take the last chip? Bang on, I did because I saw you hoeing into him when I'm telling the story. <sighs> so, all right. Anyway, we just got back from the tip. <laughs> and speaking of tips, I'll give you guys the hot tip. If you're going to Gimpy Dump, don't take concrete there because they charge a lot of money to dump it. It's it's expensive, yeah. Uh, they charge by the ton. Uh, luckily, we only had half a ton, mm. so it must be about. So if we paid seventy-five bucks for half a ton, seventy-five bucks to yeah. dump a bit of concrete. Uh, so yeah, I think she said one hundred and sixty bucks a ton or something like that. Something. Anyway, all we've got left, left to do for this fine Saturday is plant those little puppies now that we've cleared cleared their, uh, their area. Mm. So, a lot I'll, of dirt. Yeah, we'll show you guys what we've done. 
Soon actually we've got a little bit more to do yet. Yeah. Nah. Alright, we're pretty much done. That's just doing the finishing touches because she's a perfectionist. Let's uh, start planting. What are you doing? All right, folks. What we got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> Actually, we've got what's left of our carport and steel poles very well cemented into the ground. Now yeah, we've got a couple of tools here. We're going to try and take care of the issue. Could be hilarious. Could be. Could be. Victorious. We'll just see. We've dug around it. We're going to be happy if we can chip away most of the concrete enough to, you know, cut off the steel post below ground level so that we can fill it in with dirt and forget that it ever existed. That's the plan. You're missing one very important piece of PPE. Goggles. Correct. We don't want chips of rock. In the eyeball? No. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. I planted myself a bit of grass in the middle of the dirt. <laughs> so it grows and I've spreads. I've got my PPE. <laughs> That's not your PPE. Oh. Oh. E. Oh. Oh, there's a big chunk. Wee, wee, I need to close my eyes. Eek. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got movement. Oh, yeah. Super Not strong. As, Not as deep as it would be. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Oh my gosh! You are so amazing! Super strong! Now put it up over your head. <laughs> well, yeah, we do actually. It's right there. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Look at that. Where once a fucking ugly pole stood. Now filled in hole. Um, so we'll just pack this shit up and show you the end result out the back with all our little new babies. Yay! So yeah, from big concrete chunks and a big pile of dirt to little babies. Fourteen lily pillies in total now, including the two that we already had, and four Maria's. Uh, and we have a Sheena's Gold, and we have another Lily Pilly, and then we have a Guava Tree. <laughs> Fucking Guava. And a Passion Fruit Mess. <laughs> That's a bloody good effort. Well deserved Rumbo. Oh yeah. In about five years we might have a bit of privacy in there. <laughs> mm, so good. It's so much better. It does. Looks I'm good. I'm glad we both agreed to get rid of the shit in the backyard. That big freaking monstrosity as well yeah mm, so good. see it she's coming together tomorrow's another day we'll see you guys for sunday's activities <laughs> over and out let's go and have a look and see what jess is up to we've both got your plugs in Pretty sure I got some hot sparks in my hair when I was grinding that shit. You 
I could smell hair burning. I felt something go in there. Anyway, we've got to get these big heavy chunks onto the ute. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Well, I'm talking to you and them. Oh. We've got to get these big chunks onto the ute, so we're going to back the ute up to the retaining wall here and see how we go. It could be hilarious. Yeah. But they're way too heavy to lift. All right, so the that didn't work. <laughs> Those things are just too heavy for Freaking little little Nat. Heavy. Oh, get out! They were a little bit too heavy for you too. Little Nat couldn't handle it. Twiggy arms. <laughs> yeah, so they weigh about 158 ton each. Yep. We have an yeah. option. We're going to ring a landscape place who generally takes concrete for some silly reason. So uh, earlier in this video we were uh you know bogging up and painting where a ceiling fan used to be i forgot to show you guys the end result but yeah you can barely even tell it was there needs uh probably one more coat of ceiling white but yeah the old motor chick did a good job hey guys we're back in the frankenstein chop shop workshop uh, I've got a few little dodgy projects going on around the place. That'll be in another video. But you might have seen the Bunnings uh, lamp that I we got. Uh, the reason I wanted to get a lamp like this, uh, you know, sort of a clamp on style lamp, uh, obviously, is we need a studio sort of like, I'm not getting too freaking professional here. But uh, now and then we do need like a studio style light, you know, so we can, you know, get a bit of light on us if we're talking to the camera or more importantly, if we're doing work on a bike and trying to film it, um, having something like this is going to be really handy. So the thing is with, with proper studio lights, they're quite expensive. Uh, even the cheap eBay ones, you know, you're looking at 100 to 150 bucks for a pair, I saw that Bunnings had like a clamp on style desk lamp for 15 bucks because it said it was in stock but they couldn't find any they let us grab a different one, whatever we wanted for 15 bucks uh, this one was like 50 bucks normally I think but it's turned out really good because it's actually it actually runs off 12 volts so it comes with a, a little wall plug adapter with a little plug on the end of it so yeah that's an, a 12 volt output adapter and because we like to, you, you might have seen in a previous episode, I made this uh, little camera tripod out of uh, a pair of crutches <laughs> that we're no longer using. Um, and we like to move that around if we, you know, we're doing stuff. So I thought, well, hell, if that's a 12 volt light, uh, maybe we can run it off a battery. Um, and I had an old motorbike battery out of the T7 when I put a lithium in the bike. So I've had that one there, which nothing wrong with it. Um, so I've wired, wired that up to the light and it serves as like a weight on the base of the tripod which you know is always a good thing keep it more sort of stable so yeah I've just basically wired it up and I'll put a plug off an old laptop uh, charger that we no longer use and so I can still run it off the wall plug if I want plug the, the light into that but yeah I can also run it off this um, this battery here which is handy, so it's all wireless now, it's not connected to anything. Um, yeah, it works just fine. The only thing I don't know is how much power it draws. Um, so, <laughs> the next little step is going to be adding this. This is an old uh, USB uh, auxiliary plug for the bike um, for the, I had on the Tenere. Um, I think one of the ports, I oh know it's actually it's off Nat's bike off the 390. One of the ports doesn't work anymore because one of the thingies came loose. Um, but it does have a voltmeter on the front of it, so I'm going to wire this up to it as well um, and try and find a switch of some sort uh, just, to, just to be able to switch it on and off and see how the voltage of that is going, uh, you know, to find out when it needs charging without having to fart around and get a multimeter onto it or whatever. So yeah, that's uh, that's today's little project. Um, I'll show you what it looks like once I've got this thing on there. Um, it may be a waste of time. It may that battery may only run it for an hour or something, but uh, we'll see how we go. 
Right, eh? so I've managed to start another couple of projects here today. <laughs> I've got um, yeah, a bit of water comes in, just a tiny bit of water seeps in there when it really rains hard. Um, so, silicon, a bit of silicon along the bottom there. I'm uh, putting some sheets of MDF on here. I'm going to paint that. Uh, yeah, you know, a lighter colour, just to lighten it up in, in this area. So I need one more sheet there. That's just getting liquid nails, nailed, liquid nailed. It's getting stuck to the brick. Anyway, this is me little uh, tripod battery setup. So I didn't, couldn't find a switch, but I've just got that here. I can just shove it in there. I need to see the voltage. Um, I did a test, a couple of tests yesterday, and I can get a solid uh, non stop three hours of light uh, from this out of this battery before it needs to be recharged. That's taken it down to about 11.9 volts, which I think is probably where you, you know, you don't want to go too much lower than that. Um, apparently, you know, with these sort of batteries, you can go less than 11.9 volts starts to do permanent damage i'm not overly worried about that battery as i said it's not going in a bike but you know i'd rather have it last a, a while all i need to really do now is i'm just going to make up a little just a basic little bracket here um to stop it sliding off and you know put a couple of bits of something on the side there just to hold it in place and that will be me a uh, little light tripod thingy but gee it's a oh, it's bright. It's a beauty. Probably one last thing I'll do is uh, cut this and add a whole bunch of wire into that, just to make that a nice extension lead, um, so that that will still plug into the wall. And then I'll have a lot more lead to play with if uh, we need to plug it in in the in the middle of doing a video, because there's nothing worse than running out of camera battery or light. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. So just trying out the new light. It's bright, all right. Needs a, probably needs a little bit of a diffuser on there or something. But uh, no, it's good. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. It's been pretty long. It's been pretty disjointed. But hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like if you enjoyed and subscribe and all that stuff. Cheers. <laughs>